no mic to kainga. away in the remote depths of the vast Pacific Ocean. On the other side of the swaying palm trees and tropical lagoons of Honolulu and Hollywood. Past the coral reefs and coconuts of the South Sea Islands. Beyond even the fabled playground of Papiti and Tahiti. There lies a country shrouded in mystery and romance. In fact, it's so shrouded in the mist of impenetrable distance that it's known to the outside world only as... The land of the long white shroud. Like the bird's homeland, Hawaii was swept by war. And to escape its devastation, many more Maoris preferred to face the dangers of storms, whirlpools, and giant waves to search for Aotearoa. was another migrant canoe, which carried the usual cargo of seeds and animals, all strangers to this new land. When the Arawa canoe arrived, its fascinated occupants were greeted by a shoreline of blossoming Pohutukawa trees. Immense branches dipping their blood-red flowers into the calm blue sea. Blue, blue, blue sea. Dwarfed by raging seas, Te Waka, the canoe, is tossed on the foaming South Pacific Ocean, the ocean of Kiwa, while the naked fisherman Maui strains against the weight of a giant fish, Papatunuku. By raging seas, Te Waka, the canoe, is tossed on the foaming South Pacific Ocean, the ocean of Kiwa, while the naked fisherman Maui strains against the weight of a giant fish, Papatunuku. <laughs> 